In this video, we will be discussing dynamically changing the coordinate system. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 0205 dynamically changing the coordinate system.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Whether you're initially creating 3D models or 2D geometry in 3D space, as we've seen, the alignment of the coordinate system plays an important role to getting the required results. While in a command though, to create new geometry, you also have the option to dynamically change the coordinate system. For this option to be available, you need to have dynamic UCS turned on in the status bar. You can also change the settings behind dynamic UCS by simply right-clicking on it and toggling on the different options. You can turn the display of the crosshair labels on if you'd like, so that as you hover your mouse over a specific 3D face, it'll actually display the crosshair labels. This can kind of get in the way sometimes graphically, so I prefer to turn mine off. With dynamic UCS turned on, hovering your cursor over an existing flat face of a solid model while in a command that creates new geometry will cause that face to highlight and the crosshairs to orient in that face. Let's go ahead and place a cylinder on this face of the 3D solid. Notice my UCS is set to the WCS, so we're in the default coordinate system. And let's go ahead and choose the cylinder command. Notice that with dynamic UCS or ducks turned on, as I hover my mouse over a 3D face, it will automatically, dynamically, change the UCS. So depending on the actual face that you hover over, you can change the UCS dynamically. So let's draw a cylinder at the center of this face right here. We will discuss 3D O snaps and O snaps later on, but I'm going to use the 3D center snap to simply hover and click. Notice how the cylinder begins at that dynamically defined UCS. Notice how the UCS has not changed at all in the drawing, but dynamically updated to create objects on that face's orientation. I'll go ahead and define a radius and a height. So with dynamic UCS turned on, you can very easily, temporarily, dynamically create a dynamic coordinate system that defines its XY planes to be cloaked planar to the highlighted face. This concludes this video discussing dynamically changing the coordinate system.